Okay, so we're doing a round of uh, derb abrasion on this patient here. She has something called neurofibromatosis. It can be done on uh, any patient with a texture problem, irregularity of the skin. It's commonly done on the face. Uh, for uh, whatever reason, in neurofibromatosis, there's a lot of textural problems around the mouth, the forehead area, and it's a very common problem. So in this particular patient, uh, electrodesiccation doesn't really work at some point, which is what we use to take down the larger bumps into flatter surfaces. But even then, sometimes the scars are a little bit raised, sometimes a little bit thick, um, and, addition, and they, although they are better, they still provide a textural problem of the skin, which people don't like. It casts a shadow, uh, and so we do. We have to do something else. So there's skin resurfacing that is used for that. So in this case, I like the dermabrader. People sometimes can use a fractional CO2 laser, uh, erbium YAG laser, something to resurface uh, the skin in a destructive manner and in a very controlled fashion. And some people even use a chemical peel. So today I'm gonna to demonstrate the dermabrasion and here's the dermabrader device. And we have, we fire that guy up and then give me a little bit of irrigation right here. Just sort of all across the forehead and I like to get that wet to begin. And we just basically start to sand the outer layer of epidermis and dermis to where we get a more even surface. We like to make sure it's nice and taut. And this is just taking out the outer layer of skin and down to the deeper layers of dermis. So you can kind of see the color change happening a little bit. The nice fresh skin is underneath there. And we just want to make sure we're constantly passing this over the skin. And then give it a little wipe and we'll see what that looks like right now. And you can see a little bit of what's called pinpoint bleeding. We really like that. Uh, on closer look, we can see there's still some texture problems there. We need to concentrate on those little spots a little bit deeper, and that's what we're gonna do. Go ahead. Not too, not too hard on the squirt. Just drop, drop, drop. You can see the epidermis sort of sloughing off as I go through it. And again, we take a quick look and see where our texture problem still lies. And you can see some of the shadowing right up through here. I'm going to make sure that's taut. And we're essentially sanding off the outer layer of skin. Good, and it's already looking better. And we're gonna do that for the rest of the face. And uh, we'll check back later.